Hey everyone, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another favorites video and this time it's for the month of June. I'm so excited and just so impressed with myself that I've been this consistent and this time I've actually lost track of how many months I've been doing this straight. So before I was a little bit scared to tell you guys or promise you guys anything but now I'm like nah like there will be another video next month. I still have my usual categories so I have my favorite home products, beauty products, hair products, and jewelry products. So without any further ado let's get started. So I want to start off with the home products and the first item I want to talk about is this gold toilet paper holder. For a second I actually lost my train of thought. I was like, what is this called? I got this off of Amazon and as usual you guys can find my Amazon shop down below. It will show you a summary of the things that I really like to buy so if you missed out on some of the other old favorites you can always check out my link. But for those who have been pretty up to date you can just click the product link below to find this one. I really like this product because I have a pretty small bathroom so it's really hard for me to find toilet paper space because the two drawers that I have I already use it for all my beauty products and my hair products so I didn't really want to use the space in the drawers for toilet paper and the other reason why I don't like to use the drawers for toilet paper is because a lot of the times I don't know when I'm on the last roll so I'll be done and I'll be like oh shit like I need toilet paper and then I open my drawer and I don't see any so this is just a really great way for me to kind of keep track of my toilet paper usage as I go so that's why I really like this product. The next items I want to talk about is my favorites from Ikea in terms of picture frames. If you guys follow me on TikTok you might have already seen the really quick and dirty 15 to 30 second version of this but for those who don't follow me on TikTok first of all do so because you can honestly find a lot more of what I do on there in terms of product and my favorites and stuff like that and I do it in a much quicker fashion whereas I feel like the turnaround for a YouTube video is much longer. I already mentioned this on TikTok but I also want to mention it here in case you don't have TikTok but my favorite picture frames from Ikea are the following three. Number one is Lom Vikin. I'm probably butchering the names so I'll leave the names down below and you guys can see. The second one is called Riba or Reba. I don't really know. In my head I pronounce it Reba, but it's probably pronounced Riba. And then the last one is Hofsta, Hof, Hofska. Sorry, I actually don't have the product name, but I think it's called Hofska. Basically, these are the three types of picture frames I really like. The first one that I mentioned are the gold ones. You can find it in different sizes. I have them both in the big one and the small one. I have this gallery wall down my hallway and that's where I use the big one. I also recently did a mini kitchen gallery wall and that's where I use the smaller ones for the Lom Vicken. In terms of the Reba, I have it for some of my pictures on top of my dressers and I also have it on top of some cabinets so I will show you guys those as well. The main difference between those two is really I would say the quality. The Reba ones are a little cheaper in quality. The frames in the back are just kind of metal and you just have to flick it up whereas the gold ones you can actually press it, use it and take it out. It's just much better quality. Also the frame for the Lom Vicken are metal whereas the Riba ones, I believe they're all just wood or that special Ikea type wood if you know what I'm talking about. They don't come in the colors that they do interchangeably. If you want black or white, you would need to get Riba. And if you want gold, you would need to get the one that I mentioned. The last one that I mentioned was called Hofska or something like that. This one is a little bit different because they have this really nice light wood color. And I absolutely love that color for my picture frames. And the other difference for this picture frame, which is why it's slightly more expensive than the Riba ones, is that there's a little bit of an indent. So it makes the picture go back 
backwards and it's not pressed against the glass, which I think is really interesting. I have all three types of picture frames kind of all scattered around the home. Honestly, I would say that these picture frames overall are not that cheap, especially the bigger in size you go. Like the gold ones costed me around $25 plus tax. When you're building a gallery wall, honestly, these costs do add up. So really, really plan it out and make sure you know what you want. And honestly, for cost saving purposes, it's probably better if you don't have that many picture frames or if you can check out the dollar store first, I would recommend that. Personally, I was just way too lazy, but I always get a lot of compliments on my picture frames. So I highly recommend checking that out. Okay, so the next category I wanna move on to is beauty. The first product I wanna talk about is the Caudalie Premier Crew Oil. This is what the product looks like. And basically it's just a face oil. And as you can see, I just recently tried it. There hasn't been that much use, but so far I really, really like it. To be honest, I'm not a facial oil type person only because before I thought that you had to apply the oils on your own, which I'm sure you can. But I recently attended this Caudalie info session and basically they were explaining to us that you can actually dilute the oil into your face cream. And after she taught us that, I was like, okay, this is so much more manageable and I'll actually start using facial oils now because I didn't know you can dilute it. I know maybe this is like really stupid of me to say. It's like, of course you can dilute it, but I didn't know that. Maybe you didn't either. So if you didn't, you can also dilute facial oils. So I really like this because it has an overall in terms of everything that I want in terms of a skincare product and it keeps my skin super hydrated. So I really recommend this and also their Premier Crew line. It smells really good and this product is also really great for my skin. The next product I wanna talk about is the Aven Gentle Body Scrub. This is what the product looks like and this is something that I just use a couple times a week and one of the reasons why I really, really love this product is because it smells so good. I've mentioned their face cream before and it pretty much smells like their face cream. I'm just gonna smell it right now, hold on. Yeah, it smells really good. It also smells identical to that face cream that I always talk about. So this one, once again, really like the smell, but also I really like the construction of the beads. I know that sounds weird, but I've had body scrubs before where the amount of exfoliation is way too dense to the point that it was hard to dilute underwater or it was hard to squeeze out. This one I feel like has such a great consistency. If you haven't tried their products, I highly recommend trying their face cream cream first and then also taking a look at their body scrub because this is really good and it's also suitable for sensitive skin. Also for this product, it's just a body scrub, not anything, I guess, like medical. It's not supposed to really treat anything. It's really just to focus on exfoliation. The reason why I mention this is because for the longest time, I've been trying to get rid of KP. I call it KP because I feel like I'm gonna butcher the scientific word, so I'll just leave it here. A lot of people have KP, especially in Asian skin. I don't know about you, but my entire Asian family household, we all have these red bumps on the back of our arms. I don't know if you can see it. Actually, it's worse on my right hand. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Okay. I know it looks like it's barely there because I think of this lighting, but I actually do have KP and I've always been self-conscious about it. But recently there's been this internet wave of people who have been like trying to solve this, I guess, and have been recommending products. So I actually found this based on my own search. I literally Googled this, but it's so funny because everyone was telling me that they were seeing this product recommendation from TikTok the KP Bump Eraser by First Aid Beauty. This is not a monthly favorite, not because the product is bad, but because I literally just got this, so I cannot review. But based on the two times I've used it, I haven't really noticed that big of a difference in my KP. I don't think it's reduced yet. So I'm gonna use it more this month. I'll let you guys know, but I originally had this product and I realized it wasn't really solving any of my KP issues because it doesn't have any type of medical, or not medical, but like the ingredient that is supposed to get rid of KP which is called AHA. So this one I use mostly for exfoliation around my body and my legs. I'm also trying to get rid of something called strawberry legs. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I didn't know that was a term or that was a thing until TikTok. I searched up pictures of strawberry legs and I'm like, 
yep, those are my legs. It basically literally looks like a strawberry. It's an aftermath of shaving and the skin kind of builds up around the hair follicles. So in order to get rid of that, you ideally should have shaved, exfoliate afterwards and moisturize. But I used to be so bad with body skincare because usually my skincare focuses on face. I'm now trying to do skincare on my body. So I will update you guys on my progress with KP and strawberry legs after giving this one more of a try and also using this more consistently and more frequently on my legs as well. Enough about skin and beauty, whatever. I'm gonna move on to the next category, which is hair. So for hair, I have two products. The first product I have for you guys is the seven seconds detangler. This is what the product looks like. Let me explain to you what this is because when I first received this product, I was kind of like, why do I need it? Because it's a detangler. So it didn't really seem to be doing anything in terms of like heat protection or like whatever it is. But then I started using this more and I was like, holy shit, this is actually magic. If you have really tangly hair, especially when you're coming out of the shower or especially when you wake up in the morning and your hair's like all fucked up and stuff, this is when you use this product. And I kid you not, you spray it all over your hair, let it sit for seven seconds, rush through it like a bunch of tiny humans go into your hair or something like I don't know what it is that they do but in seven seconds when you run your fingers through your hair it's suddenly not tangled like I, I genuinely don't understand if you get really tangly hair or if you're like me and have naturally curly hair or just like very tangly hair I really recommend this another reason why I felt like this is actually really useful is because if you are someone like me who is concerned with hair fallout I would recommend doing this because that way it prevents you from aggressively combing your hair and then it causes more fallout than it needs if you use this then it also indirectly helps with less fallout. The next hair product and the last hair product that I have for you is, I'm not gonna say the name because I'm gonna butcher it, but don't worry guys, I'm gonna leave all links down below because let's be real, we can't trust me in pronouncing anything. Shawafskoff. I feel like I should go check out a channel that will teach me how to say this or pronounce this name. But anyway, this is one of the most effective purple shampoos that I've ever used. It is so quick and it actually is so, 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 so effective. There was this one, I don't know what brand it was, honestly, I forgot. There was this one brand of purple shampoo that I was using for the longest time and it did nothing. So I usually would leave it longer for that brand. But then this one, the first time I used it, I was really lazy and I only left it on for three minutes or three to five minutes, which is the standard. Afterwards, I actually noticed a difference. I actually used it earlier this morning. Maybe I should have put it in for a little bit longer because I haven't used it in a while, but let me tell you, if you are looking for purple shampoo, highly recommend. I will leave a link down below directly to a link on Amazon and it has a bulkier size. So it's a bigger size rather than this one. This one was gifted. So I will leave that one down below. And the last item that is in my favorites this month is a Majuri item. I try to share a Majuri item every single month because I actually do receive a product like more or less once a month or like maybe once every two months. So I do wanna share with you new products that I've really enjoyed. And I feel like all of you guys are also big Majuri fans. So the one that I have for you this time is this Curb Necklace. I didn't just receive this product. I actually had this product for a while now. I always forget to mention it in these videos. But anyway, this is what the necklace looks like. It is so cute. It just, I feel like it goes really, really well with any type of of crew neck. So a crew neck is just like a neckline that's like this. It really goes well with these type of necklines, especially when I'm wearing like a sweatshirt, like a crew neck sweatshirt. It gives this really edgy streetwear vibe and it's just super cute. You can still layer it obviously with my trusty initial necklace from Majuri. So yeah, it just like looks really, really cute. I highly recommend checking it out. This is not solid gold, but this is not something that I think that I would be wearing every day 
anyway, so I typically do take it off at the end of the day. So that was pretty much it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed my monthly favorites and also this video today. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the bell so you are notified every time a video is posted. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!